What's going on guys, this is Goofy Oop the Balls, bringing you guys some more Black Ops 3, where we're going to look at the difference between the Semtex and the Frag Grenade in this game. And the main categories we're going to look at are the kill ranges for both grenades, the hit ranges for both grenades, the time it takes to throw them, the time it takes to explode, and how far you can throw them. So getting right into the explosive range testing, so what I did is, in the center of the screen here, I sort of threw the grenade in the corner, and had the person stand right on the wall, and saw how far away I could have them back up and still be killed by the grenade and how far away I could have them back up and still be hit by the grenade and the results I'm going to show you them right here. So right here is the hit radius for the frag grenade and it's honestly a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be and so I'm going to really have to think again about using the frag grenade on my class and right here is the kill radius obviously smaller than the hit radius but it's still a pretty significant range. Moving on to the semtex right here is the hit radius which is obviously smaller than the frag grenade and the kill radius again is obviously all smaller than the frag grenade and that's to be expected. The Semtex has never been as powerful as the frag grenade in any of the Call of Duty games but the difference here is that the Semtex is pretty close to the range of the frag grenade. I mean it is smaller but really not by that much and I think in previous Call of Duty games the range difference has usually been a lot bigger and the frag grenade has covered a lot more distance than the Semtex but here we can see they are pretty similar. The other thing is that these distances do apply to verticality. So I'll show you right here, I have someone standing in the window and I throw a frag grenade under them and it blows up and is able to kill them because that's the range of the frag. But it does not work with the Semtex grenade. So that's just a good thing to know that these ranges apply both horizontally and vertically. So moving on to throw time, there were some pretty weird things going on here. So one of the things I measured was the time it takes from when you press the button to when the grenade leaves your hand. And I'll show you right here, I did it for both of them, and I slowed it down frame by frame and put a timer up here. And it actually turns out the Semtex took a little bit longer to throw. It took about 0.85 seconds to throw, you know, from the time that I pressed the button to the time where we got to the frame where it was leaving my hand. And the frag only took 0.78 seconds. So that's pretty weird. Usually the Semtex is a lot faster to throw, but it seems here that it was the frag. So... I, that's pretty weird and then moving on to I also did the time it takes to pull your gun back up because yeah it's good to know how long it takes to throw the grenade for it to get out of your hand but it's also good to know how long it's going to take you to pull your gun back up and it seems in both cases it was about the same about 1.21 seconds so no real significant difference there on throw time other than it takes a little bit longer to throw the Semtex and get it out of your hand, you'll still be able to pull your gun up in the same amount of time as it would have taken to throw a frag grenade. So moving on to the time it takes for each of these grenades to blow up, so what I did is I pressed the button and timed exactly how long it took for the grenade to blow up, and I didn't cook the frag grenade, I just hit the button and threw it. And for the frag grenade it was about 4.2-ish seconds or so, and for the Semtex it was about 2.8 seconds. So so a pretty significant difference there. The Semtex is going to blow up a lot faster, so it's going to be really good for placing it tactically and allowing it to blow up quick so enemies really don't have a lot of time to react. Whereas the Frag, if you just tap it and throw it, it's going to roll around for a while and enemies are going to have a lot of time to react to that. But the upside to that is you can cook the Frag Grenade. So, so while it might take 4 seconds for it to blow up, you can actually cook it and you know take like 3 seconds off that time. So it'll blow up pretty much right after you throw it out of your hand. So you can kind of adjust how long you want to take there. And now moving on to the final category is distance. So I'll show you a bird's eye view here. The Semtex we can throw pretty far about right to the end of that bus, maybe a little farther. And the frag grenade we can throw farther than that. And on top of that the frag grenade rolls. So there's pretty good consideration there. You can throw the frag grenade farther and you have to add the distance that it can roll. So again, the frag is going to be pretty good for throwing at distance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this information about the frag and the Semtex grenades. And hopefully this will help you pick which one of those you want to use more often and which one suits your play style the best. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you could hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more Black Ops 3 tips and tricks videos and more Black Ops 3 comparison videos like these. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.